Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you can see on the bench, it's that time again. It's the end of the month, donations and purchases. So, without further ado, let's get stuck in and see what we got. Okay, before we get started, I'd just like to um, welcome any new friends of the channel. Welcome aboard and welcome back all the old friends of the channel. Right, first off, I got went to a charity shop whilst I was away, and slim pickings, and all we got were these. Now, you'll say, well, why did you get them? I said, well, the reason is, the wheels, really, <coughs> these wheels are quite good. I'm not keen on the car. Funny little things, really, but the wheels are good. These can be used... On a corgi or a dinky or a customer or some sort of maybe a matchbox i don't know we'll see so i've got a couple of them they were 50p each can't go wrong with them 50p there you go that's those two we've got this one for the wheels come on andy everything else is busted on it there's no good really viper and i got this one for the wheels this is plastic Really, and I've got an idea for this ice cream here. One of those. I need one of those out of there. Because I'm missing an ice cream for the ice cream man. Uh, yeah, so these wheels be alright on a transit. So they've got rubber tyres. I think that's... It's not really die cars. I don't know what that is. It's, it's a bit rubbish anyway. So that's all I'll be doing with that. That's that one. And then we've got a, this is a, uh, what's this, a matchbox, Volkswagen Transporter. So it's not bad, pretty good, missing the light, I don't know if it's either, it might be inside, rattling around, I don't know what's fell out, one or the other. But yeah, we've got that one to do, that's cool. And, uh, could I, you know, I've got the tiny Tonkers, well this one is a um, Buddy L, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Not a bloody L, a buddy L. Made in Japan. So another one to to do. It's quite nice. Yeah, buddy L. At the bottom there. Yeah, so we've got them to do. So that was a little find I got from a charity shop. Which uh, which is alright. I mean, charity shops these days. I don't know. It's hard to get anything half decent. Okay, so then I've got a small job lot. Of these, this is the Corgi Toys Fiat, 1800, there you go, that one, it's not bad, got the Thunderbird, it's been, look at this, look at the screws on that, eh, look at the screws on that, I actually, funny enough, a while ago now, I bought a job lot similar to this. And just think about it now. If you watch Luke's at uh, Diecast Outlaw, his latest video, he's done. I donated him a couple of models. And I just tweaked on when I saw these screws. That one of the ones I gave him, American uh, car, that had the same screws in. So I'm wondering, I have to backtrack as if it's from the same seller. But yeah, look at them. They're like wood screws. In there, but anyway, I basically got it because it was in his job lot, really. That was it, really. It's got a hole in the front there, but yeah, there you go. So that's that one. And they were all, yeah, they're all the same. Yeah, screws. This one, this one's got the oil written on the bottom. So whether it was a mechanical one, I don't know until I get inside and have a look. But some is obviously took the bases off for some reason. And they repainted them and they've drilled the holes in there. I don't know why they drill a hole in there. It's got no interior, no glass, or nothing. But these these would be all right if I ever go get round to doing a scrapyard diorama. Mini. This hasn't been tampered with, so that's good. It's got the headlights, even got the existing area. Look, that's the original area with it. But there's only one door. I've got some doors for one of these. So. That could be one to be done. It's got the tyres on it. These are the 12mm tyres. 
threaded. So they're okay. So it's pretty good, actually. Pretty good. It's not bad condition, really, you know. Shame about that door missing. Could have, could, that could have been passed as an all right one, that one. Uh, what else was there? This one, forward console. Base is intact. Glass seems to be okay, so that's a, a good one to do. That one. This one's seriously. This one's been our paint. This is the mechanical one as well. Look. So it's a bit slow, but yeah. So that's we can do that one. That's a standard Vanguard three. It's a lot of thick paint on there. And what else was there? Oh, the old Rover, Rover ninety. That's got the screws in again. Look, that's got a bolt. Oh, no, what have they done with that? Looks like a screw. It looks like a bolt. <laughs> Flipping egg. Yeah, that should be fun. Yeah, yeah. This one is different. This one's got a light on the side here. Right, and then the last of that little job lot was the old golden, golden orc. There you go. So that's that little. That was that little job lot. I thought I ain't bad for a few quid. I mean, it's because I got it really cheap, so I can't, I can't grumble. To be honest with you, and if if not, they're good for spares. Um, then I bought some individual lots. I bought this one. I liked it. I looked at the pictures. I thought, you know, that's really nice. That is. And this is a um, oh, Salido. Yeah, Salido. Yeah. Yeah, Ford Thunderbird, one forty three scale. Screw base. Paint's chipped, white wall tires on it. But I think the bonnet is at something wrong with the bonnet there. The hinge is probably broken. So it needs looking at. We can get that hinge fixed, give it a repaint, probably not pink. A nice red will be nice with the white interior. Windscreen's intact. Nice front chrome on it. Just wants to clean up because I think they're plastic, I would say. Yeah, that'll come out quite nice, that, actually. Yeah, it is pink. It kind of looks grey in this thing, but or oh, greeny grey. Right, so that's I'm not going to chuck that in the box. Otherwise, I'll put it up there. Otherwise, it'll... Um, I'll smash the windscreen. This one, another individual one that came in. I've been away, so I've just been unwrapping parcels this morning when I got back. Um, well, this afternoon, because I got delayed on the road. Separate chassis on this one. Yeah, I think it just pulls out. Yeah, I think it just they pull down here. Yeah, there you go, look. If you haven't seen that, separate chassis. Little engine in there. Pretty funky. Little engine. Yep. They did a gift set with these in as well. Get that back in there somehow. In a minute, get it in there. That'll do for now. Yeah, that's cool. It's got a good windscreen. Yeah. So that's that one. And then I bought this one. I like the look of this one. Somebody has attempted to turn this lovely roller. It's the uh, Silver Cloud. Roll Dinky Toys. Silver Cloud 3. And they've actually made a fairly good job of it, really. They tried to make it look rusty and worn out. They've obviously gone over with the brown there, or a khaki colour, then gone over what they were supposed to be mud. There's a bit of yellow in there. But inside, if you look, they've even put like, I don't know if you can see it, but on the backs of the seats, it looks like bits of lichen or moss they stuck on the seat on there. It's actually manky, filthy in there. But it's got all the tyres, got all the wheels, and he must have, whoever did it, put a bit of thought into it because they didn't put it on the windows. They didn't smear the windows in paint, which was bloody good. Get the number plates, back bumpers all intact, and the front headlights are still in there, and both the spotlights on the bumper are still on there, which is a bonus. 
and the bonnet open to both sides. So that's all that. My engine's in there. He hadn't painted that on the other side. So this will be a cool one to do. Quite a weighty model. There you go, Bob. Expansion test. Yeah, so that's going to be a good one to do. So that's that. And I have uh, got my hands on one of these. This big boy. Let me uh, better come out a little bit. Yeah. This big boy. Trailer's in good condition. To be honest with you. Crap old Nick done one of these a while ago. I might keep the body frame exactly the same. And do something with his top. Take this. I don't like to see paint where there's supposed to be metal. So I might see what can do something with this. It's got the sliders on there, which is cool. And it's got the uh, tailgate, which again is cool. I'm not sure how this works, actually. There you go. That's all in working operation. It's just a cab a little bit... Uh, a little bit scratched up. Um, let's see how we get the cab off. I can't remember now. Different way of doing it. Yeah, the wheel comes down. I can't remember how to do it. I'll, I'll work it out in a bit. But oh, there you go. Yeah, it's a Ford cab. It wants a bit of work on it. It's, it's not too bad. Cab lifts up. It's got the engine in there. So you've got to put a bit of detail on there if you wanted to. Bling it up a little bit. The gear stick catches. Good glass. Yeah, we could tidy the cab up on this one. I'm not 100% sure. It came as as is, but I'm not sure if this is the same. Is this the right colour cab for it? I'll have to check. I, I haven't had time to check on these things yet, but I will check. Yeah, so we got that one. That's nice. And yes, it's a Corgi Majors. There you go. Yeah, the, I think the trailer, I'm going to leave as is, except I might do something with this top and a bit at the bottom. We'll see. So that's that. I'll keep that apart. It makes it easier to pack it. And then I bought the Tri Deck. The reason I bought this, because I'd already got one of these, but I was missing this. See this bottom arm here, there, that bottom arm there on both sides, and one of them were broken. Now, you can buy spares, you can buy this as a spare, you can buy that as a spare, and you can buy that as a spare. But I couldn't find anybody selling this piece, this piece, this piece here on both sides, there and there, and that was a bit what was missing off mine. So, I had a few people looking out for things for me, and uh. They're not easy to come by, these, these Tridex. So I've got this one on eBay, but the only thing that's missing is the tailboard. But you can, I have seen it for sale on eBay as a spare part. It doesn't come right the way down. It only comes half part way up there and there. But yeah, so this is the one we've got to do. Uh, the cab, broken glass on it. And it's been repainted. But apart from that, the rest of it's all all working. It'll all be all working as your lever for up and down in there. And I think that lever, yeah, that's your lift and separate lever there. I think there, there you go. All right. So that's that one. Friday. So that should be a fun one to do when I'm getting all this apart and repainting it. That'll be a nice, interesting video. Luckily, see up there, they're, they're like twist slots and got twists in them. If you can see that very well. Yeah, that's just got slots in there. That's a pin. That All this will have to come off to release that. Yeah, there's a leg missing off there. No, there isn't. Is there? I can't. I have to check. 
I don't know much about these. I just always, I, I, I like them and I wanted one. Because I also find that if you hit transporters, if you've got transporters, you can stack more cars in your cabinet because you can load it up with cars. So I do like a transporter. More than reasons. Right. Okay. Then I went ahead. I'm going to go in a bit now. So I bought a um, a job lot. There's a mixture of smalls in there, a couple of big ones. And we'll run through these fairly quickly because um, some of it is... Um, a bit trashy, but we'll probably won't ever use. Uh, I'd probably move them on um, either through Facebook or whatever. I don't know. First one I will be keeping though is this little trailer with the two GNUs on it. GNU GNUs. I used to do a lot of canoeing at one time, not kayaking, canoeing. Yeah, when I was a young, so I used to love canoeing. Yeah, so these have been nice for a, a matchbox. Cars, I think one of them has a canoe, well, I think the course has a boat on it, but yeah, or you could just use it as a trailer. It's got no name on it, but it's still a good piece and it's all intact. So that's a bonus. I like that. Matchbox TK Tipper, original. All working, got a tailboard on it. That's another cool one. So super fast in here. I don't know what this one. Oh, yeah, it's a Matchbox Super Fast Corvette. Not a lot going on with that, really. Broken screen. Matchbox Super Fast number ten, Plymouth Grand Fury, nineteen seventy nine. There you go. Got a bit of a bend in the roof. That one. This one. Matchbox International Camaro IROC 728 made in Macau in 1985. Yeah, went to 63 scale. Broken screen, shame that. Oh, uh, yeah, a couple of the I got a couple of these. I dig these out. These were in the helicopters. I don't do much to do with these Matchbox helicopters. There's another one there as well. Old cheapo things. Well, that, that's made in China. That one. And a couple of airplanes in here. You always get airplanes chucked in here. I think there's two or three in here. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of, couple of airplanes in there. Anybody likes their airplanes? One. Missing its canopy, that one. I've got a I've got a, a, a 148 scale model of this. Yeah, where, where I live at the moment, they used to fly these around, but they don't anymore because they've been decommissioned. Another one of these things. I won't do anything with these. I'll keep this one and repair this one because this is the older one. I like the older ones, not so much the modern ones. The old dinky aircraft, yes, I'll have those. Um, but not so much the matchbox ones. It's the old BAC Lightning. Shame that broken, but we can replicate another one of those. Yeah, so that's a that's a keeper for me. Corgi Toys, Ford Transit. Everybody likes a Transit. Looks a bit stretched. Yeah, everybody likes a Transit. We've got Ford Transit. Do, 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 do. This one, it's a police car, Mercury police car, matchbox again. Remember, I can't quite read that out. You might be able to read it better than me. 55, but you know, I could read better for the bloody camera. 1971. There you go. Super fast. I don't know what this is. Don't worry about that. Not interested in that at all. Another Matchbox Super Fast. Another Plymouth Grand Fury. Made in Macau, this one. 1970. Something or other. 1970. Where's the other one gone? Another Plymouth Grand Fury. That's the, that's the other one. 
That was uh, made in England. That was made in England. That was made in Macau. In fact, that is lighter than that one. Same wheels, different paint on it. Same casting. There's those two. We have another one in here somewhere. Looks like a Merc. Matchbox Super Fast, number 56, Mercedes 450 SEL. 1979. There you go. Door opening doors. Glass is okay. Got tow work on it. Got the siren and that on top of there, so that's all good. Yeah, that's all good. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Got a roller, another roller. Matchbox Super Fast. Number 39, Rolls Royce Silver Shadow. 1979, the Shadow. Anybody knows Only Falls and Horses, you know what I mean when I go to Shadow. They seek him there, they seek him in, they seek him everywhere. That damned elusive Shadow. Gorgie Toys, Rover, three and a half litre, SG1. There you go. This is a later one because I took the glass out. The early ones had a piece of glass in there. But the later ones, I took it out. Yeah. That's that one. Keep on moving on. This is a, another Matchbox. Matchbox International, 1984. Dodge Daytona Turbo Z, or Turbo Z. There you go, quite nice. Slightly play-worn. The wheels are pretty good on this, actually. Yeah. Yep, that's okay. That's good. Uh, what we got here? Another Matchbox Super Fast. Number seven. The, is it the Hairy Hustler? Oh, yeah, okay. Fine. 1971. Who would have thought of that name for this? Yeah, it's not bad. Glass is all right. It's a bit worn in the corners there. But yeah, if you like that sort of thing. Cool. There's a big old Bronco type of thing. This is a Matchbox Chevy Blazer. Made in Macau. This one. Wheels a bit bent. That's that one. Another one we've got here. This is... A nice car by the look of it. A Chevy Pro Pro Stocker or yeah, Pro Stocker. Is it Pro Stocker? It must be. Nineteen. Oh no, I can't read it, it's a bit worn now. Number thirty four anyway. Pro Stocker. There you go. If you like stock cars. Oh, another helicopter. And the ugly thing, isn't it, really? I mean, all right for kids to play with, I suppose, but that's about it, really. And the blades might come in handy. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> Another wrecker. Got to be Peterbilt. Yep. Another one made of Macau. Got good hooks and arms on it, though. That's always useful. Always useful. Excuse me, that'll scratch me. I hello, it looks like another Mercury, this one. Mercury number 55 or 73. Oh, well, make your mind up time, isn't it? It's a number 55 or 73. Okay, super fast. So you could, it's your choice. Got a guy in there, looks like he's having a kip or he's pissed. One of the other. Yep. That one. That's right, there's not, there's not that many in here. This is a Majorette. Ford Escort XR3. Now, this is a nice casting, but look at the state of the wheels on it. Look at them. Aren't they horrible? 
I think if I do this one, I'll get rid of that thing. And we'll, we'll get rid of these big fat wheels. That they, you know, come on, let's put them a bit nearer the arches. But yeah. Six R three. Okay, sorry about that. My camera had uh, gone a bit wappy there a minute. The telling me my SD storage is full, so I'll have to check that. Right, let's move it on then. Uh, what have we got here? Matchbox. Oh, I've got, this is a Kenworth. Oh, yeah, I think, I think this is what goes with it as well. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, car transporter. But it's got no... Uh, no bits and bobs with that, so that's that one. Kenworth Transporter. So what have we got in here? It's a Saab. Matchbox 1987. Saab 9, 9000 Turbo. Quite nice. Look at the Saab here. Not bad condition, that one. Probably won't touch this one. Wheels are shiny. Yeah, I'll probably leave that as a as is, as is, as is. Yeah, look at this little thing here. I quite like this actually. Made in England by Lido, Enfield, Middlesex. This one. Uh, not sure what it's called. It's a Sunbeam, a 1923 Sunbeam. Yeah, I should leave that one as it is. I'm not going to mess about with that. It's fairly, fairly good condition. It's like a uh, Chevrolet van made in Hong Kong. Bumpers are a bit big on the back there. Yeah. Good glass on that one. Ferrari. F40. My Asto. I think there's two of these in here. Hello, we've got a door missing. Another matchbox. Datsun, 280, 260, can't read it, ZX, yeah, little Datsun, that one, do, 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 do. there you go, look, a Hot Wheels, I don't normally do Hot Wheels, little Hot Wheels, metallic paint work on it, 1992, one. I'm just picking these out of the box as I come along. This one, a nice oldie. This will be a Oxford diecast. This one. I've got many of them. Oxford diecast. Nice little bit of detail on the old Manor House Hospital. Golders Green, Hampstead, Hampstead Heath. Little bus. There's quite. There's a couple of these in here actually. I like this one. Duckham's Oils, Perfection in Lubrication. It looks like a Renault. I'm not sure if it is or not. Can't read it on there. Yeah, it's a Renault, yeah. yeah it's a Renault. I thought it was that with that front, funny front end on it. Yeah, it's quite nice, that. Got bad condition. Just wants a wash and a clean up, that one. Don't worry about that. Bit of junk. AA Road Services. This one. Made in England. Number four. I don't think this is Lesney though. There's no roof board on the top. I don't think it's a Lesney one, this one. It might be a Ben Bros or anything like that. I don't know. Budgie. I don't know. Didn't say. Somebody would tell me, I'm sure. Same with this one. This is a really tiny one. This is this is really tiny. I'll give you an idea how small this is. Now that's two and a quarter inches. That one. We well, got to about what fifty-five centimeters. So it's not very big. Tiny. All spot services. It's all there though. Number six. That one. This is quite, I quite like this one actually. This is quite nice. This is a, another Hot Wheels. Mattel, 1991. 
I do like that. I like the shape of that. It's nice. Isn't it one? Yeah, there's a Corvette. Made in Hong Kong. Their wheels might go on something else. There's a old bus here. There's Matchbox number 74. Daimler bus. That one. No, oh, it's got some interior in it. No glass in it. Centre post is missing. Back axle's missing. That one. This will be a model of yesteryear Bugatti. That could be useful. I've got quite a few old cars. There's that missing. Steering wheel could be useful. So that one. There's another yesteryear's here. I don't mind these. I can use these for spares, parts, and mess about with them, cut them up. Uh, these will, these can go into an old, an old, old scrapyard scene if you wanted to. Nothing gets to waste. There's another one of these Broncos. Or what Bronco? Is it a Bronco? But yeah, four Bronco two. Made in Macau, 1997. Was that 97? Or 87 maybe, I don't know. Yeah, good glass. All round. Sunroof's opened. That one. This one. Is going to be one I'm going to pay attention to. The Opel Cadet. Or we had a Mastra. GTE. Going to get rid of all MD cars. We don't need them on there. Get some decent wheels for it. And that'll come up nice. I'm going to see this in a nice white. Yeah, I'm going to try and dress this one up like a proper GTE back in the day. Yeah, nice. That one. Matchbox Racing. So it's got to be a Matchbox, isn't it? Yeah. Nineteen no, something or other. Really can't read that from there. That one. Matchbox Racing. I don't know why the big wheels on it. Just change the wheels on that one. And going back, old stuff. National Coal Board, northeastern area. The old steam wagon. Days gone. Alido. Yeah, National Coal Board. That one. Oh, sorry, knocking the camera. And if you like your coaches, there's Thames Valley coach there. London, Bristol half cab coach, EFE 176 scale, there you go, quite nice actually, I won't touch this one, I'll just clean it up and polish it, that one, some of these like I say, I'll just clean them up and polish them, petrol pump, non-branded, it could be a Britain's, it could be anything really, I don't know. Some of those are petrol pumps. Can let me know, I suppose, on that one. This is a little, little Morgan, I think, isn't it? It's a Corgi Toys. Don't say what it is. It looks like a Morgan or an MG. It says Sylvia One on there, so I don't know if that's significant. But it looks a bit like a Morgan. <laughs> it's a fun looking thing. I've tiny wheels on it. There you go. Strange times. This one, Super GT, Matchbox International, hello, base is coming off that, there you go, that one, 57, the other Ferrari, it's Hot Wheels, Ferrari, that one. I think this is a javelin. I think Michael from uh, Gravesend did this AMX javelin the other day. Nice. That one. Nearly there, boys. Nearly there. So Sierra. Majorette. See, this has got more realistic wheels on it than that Escort. 
Yeah, my own Ford Sierra, 158 scale, number 272. There you go. That'll go into normal colours. That's for sure. Another Datsun, yeah, same as the other one, but it's got both doors, this one, so that's okay. We've got one with complete doors. Cool. Another airplane, this is a swing wing, isn't it? Yeah, got the canopy. He got these big chunky wheels. Mind you, that'd be a plane. Kids are playing, wouldn't they, really? We'll be moaning about it, but it's for kids. It's for kids. How's oh, this thing and all? Nice set of old wheels on it. You can use the seats or something. An old bus or something if you wanted to. Put that over there because I keep them over there. Uh, there go. It's a Noddy. It's his train. Noddy and his train. It's a budgie. And I got Noddy. Noddy, his car. Which is a Moorstone. So there you go. The colour of those two. Be interesting to paint Noddy up actually. See what he comes out like. Noddy. Everybody remembers Noddy. And there's this old girl missing his horse. Rider saw, I think the driver thinks the horse is still there. And there's this, a matchbox. Yeah, the old milk cart. This would be nice. I've got to care for that because I'm surprised that's still in one intact, actually. I've got a horse for this on my watch list on eBay. I'm miles of pull a trigger on that now, aren't I? Another one of these from yesterday. Quite common, these. Quite a lot of these covers missing off the back. There you go. Well, That's right. Mixed bag in here, I'll tell you. This, this I quite liked. This one here. Be Kenworth again, isn't it? Yeah, Kenworth Racing. Matchbox International, 1983. Find a car to go on the back of there. Yeah, like that. Nice that. That one. Nearly there. Just a few more now, champs. This is a nice one. Old Coal and Coke. Very attractive looking model with a deep red there. Nice set of wheels on it. It's a Matchbox. Yesteryears. There you go, we've got a few of these now. Got a load on the back there. Clean this one up. So I've probably got some tyres for it somewhere. I've got loads of models of yesterday, so I'll get change the tyres on that, give this a wash and polish up. And away you go. Same with this one. Pasteurised milk and cream. Obviously there was an insert with whether it be milk churns or something in it, I don't know. If I don't use this for anything, I can use the wheels. They're quite realistic wheels for old vehicles. Yeah. Put that one over that side. This one's in uh, good condition. This one. Days gone. Grey tyres on that one. Quite nice. They're again in stable condition. Another one of these. I've got tons of these things. Opal Coupe, 1939. Is it 1939? 1909, you wally. Say 1939. Yeah. Last but not least, on this one, Edward and Sophie, whatever that's supposed to be. Quite nice. See, I like, like these wheels on here. See, look at them wheels. They're handy. It'd be nice on a, you could probably put those wheels on a dinky truck of this type. I think he some vehicles very similar to this. You could do that. If you wanted to. Well, this is quite nice, actually, as it is. I don't know what went in there, though. I'll be interested to find out what goes in there. Let's have a look. Where is it? Today's Oxford Diecast. I'll have to look at that. All right. So that concludes the purchases. Oh, hang on. No, it don't. I've got some bits and bobs here on DA, DA, TB spares. I've got the inner first when they're scammels, don't scammels, uh, yeah, 
for what I showed you, the tri deck. That's the um, that's the internals because I've got another one somewhere that's missing the internals. That's the bench seat for the um, if you remember the the comma set. There was a milk float and a trouser light van, and it, it came with a gift set. But I've got the gift set in a box, but it's missing the seat. So that's a seat. That's the bowl for one of the comma police vans. You know, with the big bowl on top. That's a replacement bowl for that. And that's what I've been after. This is what I I actually wanted. And there was that there. Because I broke mine. You'll see this in one of the one of next month's videos, in June's videos, you'll see what happened. And um why I did this. I, I needed that. But in order to do that, I, I wasn't gonna order that and pay postage on that one. I could have got all this as well on the same postage. So that's that. Um I don't know. Hang on. Just, just bear with me a second. If I think this might be as a is details in here. Let me pull it out there a minute. Thank you for purchase. Yeah, that's on eBay. D A T B. There you go. That's his. Uh... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, D A T B. So if you're interested, go and check them out. And I've got some decals from Black Square. That's what I've got some, what I get in here. So it's a future build, obviously. Uh, the ice cream truck there. Mobile gas for the, uh, that's the Corgi. Mobile gas with the Bedford, Corgi Bedford. That one, that's the milk one that goes with it. That one's for the, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. One of the tankers anyway. That one. And that's for the uh, Corgi ice cream truck. But that's not for me, that's for somebody else. So, there you go, black square. Yeah, black square decals. Okay. Right, I just chuck this over here for a moment and then we get on to I got a couple oh it's fell out. Man. Donations. Excuse me, I'll just chuck that over there. Now got a donation, I'm not gonna get it out of the bag. This is from Luke from Diecast Outlaw. This is a new light box for me, because mine was a bit small. And this is bigger, and he's not using it, and he sent it to me. Okay. It's very similar to mine. 30 centimetres foldable LED ring light studio box. Six colour backdrop. Yeah, I'm not going to get it out of the bag, but you'll see it in future videos when I get it all set up. So that was from Luke from uh, Diecast Outlaw. So thank you very much, Luke. Much appreciated. Now, I'm going to show you something now, which really, when it turned up as a donation, it took my breath away a little bit, uh, and I'll explain to you why. Um, it might be a bit soppy, but it's this is the truth. My friend from John from JB Model Cre Creations, JB Model Creations, he does a lot of scale models, um, buys and sells on eBay, and he also um, builds some fantastic scale scale models, and. Uh, we, we we chat backs and forwards. Now, I'll zoom out. There you go. Now, he sent me this. It's a monogram, die cast, and plastic XK120. All right. This is really, really nice. I'm going to open a lid for you and I'll show you. Untouched. John's checked it all. Bagged it all up, as, as he does. When he gets the models, he buys them. He checks them. Make sure everything's all in, bags them all up, which is very kind of him. Must cost my fortune in bags. It's all the glass, and it's plastic and metal. Okay. There's all the plastic interior parts, side parts, chassis parts. And that's the die cast body. Yeah, look at that. All right, and that's it. There's the hood or the bonnet. And it will spats if you want to use them. 
tyres in there and instructions and he also put that in for me as well that key ring e-type which is beautiful okay right now i will tell you a little story when when, when i got this i opened it and i, I was really if you can <laughs> i'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie oh it, it was very very emotional for me this was when i saw this and I'll tell you for why. Many years ago, before I moved into this house, that we're living at this present house we lived at the moment, we lived on a narrow boat. And previous to that, we lived in a house, a, Victor a big Victorian house. And at that time, I used to work, we, my wife and I used to do re re restore river boats. Um, we buy them cheap, what nobody wanted, and restore them and resell them. And we were away one weekend. Came home, found out the house had been burgled. Um, and we're going back, I don't know, 25, 20 some odd years ago, if not longer than that. And uh, yeah, we got burgled, came in the house, and poof, it was trashed, literally trashed. And um, they'd gone through the. I won't go into all the sordid details because it's, it's still. It still hurts a little bit to talk about it sometimes. And I was, a, as you know, I like my Jaguars. And I had a big collection of Jaguars upstairs. And they were all boxed, mostly all boxed at that time. I used to buy them and keep them as a collector. And I had a lot. And, of course, going through the house, police wanted to know what was missing. And, you know, we had a lot of stuff at the time. And uh, I went upstairs and... They'd basically took nearly all my boxed Jaguars. And I was gutted. Apart from the personal items, obviously, going to be. But, you know, for me personally, you know, it was my collection that they devastated. They left a lot, quite a lot of the stuff which was unboxed, which was older stuff. And, yeah, well, I won't go into all the detail. But one of the things that they stole was this. Not this, not this particular one, but this kit here, which I had, and it was all wrapped up, and it was all nice and in pristine condition, and I, I loved it because I'd seen one made up. When I bought this, there was one on the shelf made up, and there was one next to it open with all the parts showing what it was, and I, it was one of them must haves, and I bought it, and uh, and I'd forgotten all about it. To be honest with you, you know, it was history, it's gone. And that's one of the reasons I didn't, I stopped collecting. I stopped collecting Jaguars. I stopped collecting full stop. I I, I just hadn't got the heart anymore to go into it anymore. And uh, I just carried on. And then I eventually got into doing, carrying on with my plastic scale modeling, which I used to do anyway in between times. Um, that weren't too bad. Um, so, and then when this came through the post the other day, um, well, which is, well, actually before I went away, um, you can imagine my surprise when I opened it. And I thought, my God. And it just came, all the memories came flooding back. And it was quite emotional. Like I can say this to you now, because a lot of you guys, I've known you for a long time. You've been with me four years plus five, you know. So I feel I can tell you that I was very, very emotional when I opened this. And I emailed John straight away and told him. And, uh, you know, John, you made an old man very, very happy. So thank you very much, John, for that. If you're watching, thank you, buddy. Never forget it, mate. Never forget it. So he didn't realise what he was doing. He does now. So that's a little story to end this video. So thanks for watching. If you watched this far, I appreciate you all. Thanks very much, and we'll be back next week with the start of next month's videos and restorations. So, good luck to you all. Wish you all the best. Whatever you're doing, be happy, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.